angiotensin II receptor blockers are the medications ending with the suffix sartan. Angiotensinogen is secreted by the liver and it becomes angiotensin I by the action of renin in the kidneys. And then, by the action of ACE in the lungs, it becomes angiotensin II. And then, of course, angiotensin II has some receptors that it attaches to and this causes some actions. These functions are mainly hypertensive in nature. So by blocking the receptor of angiotensin II, we can decrease blood pressure. ACE enzyme also breaks down bradykinin. And bradykinin is antihypertensive. So the medication's ACE inhibitors can decrease blood pressure by both decreasing angiotensin II and by increasing bradykinin. So they are more effective than ARPs. However, bradykinin has some side effects, such as dry cough and angioedema. The angiotensin II receptor blockers don't increase bradykinin, so they don't have these side effects. They are especially effective in diabetic patients who are also hypertensive. They can protect the kidneys, although not as effectively as ACE inhibitors. So they are the second line and ACE inhibitors are the first line. And just like ACE inhibitors, they can cause increase in creatinine, and this goes back to normal in a couple of weeks. And they can also cause hyperkalemia. If a pregnant patient takes ACE inhibitors or ARBs, there is a significant risk of renal malformation in the newborn, so they are teratogenic. And finally, they are contraindicated in patients with a recent history of myocardial infarction. So they are effective in treating hypertension with diabetes, although they are not as effective as ACE inhibitors. This is due to them being less effective than ACE inhibitors and having more side effects or undesirable effects. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.